This is a demonstration video of the Elizabethan record player. I'm just going to show you how to use it so that you'll be familiar with it when you receive it. When you receive it, the first thing you'll need to do is to screw down the two transit screws on the record deck located here and here and screw those clockwise all the way down so that the deck floats on its springs. Two main controls for on off volume and tone are mounted on the front panel. So you can stack up to 10 records. I'm going to briefly demonstrate with two just so that you can see it play. So just pop the records onto the spindle ledge and put the stacker arm across. Select the speed on the left hand side and then to start the auto changer just flick the right hand control knob all the way around. And if you want to skip to the next record, just flick the right hand control knob all the way around again. And of course the arm lifts off automatically when it reaches the end of the record. So I'll just demonstrate with the start of a 12 inch record as well. When you stack a 10 or 12 inch record, this white horizontal lever is the size selector arm. So you need to make sure that the record is stacked above the white lever and that's so that the playing arm knows to land in the correct position. If you don't want to use the auto changer and you just want to play one record at a time manually then you can just pop the record down the spindle onto the mat and just select the first option which says manual and that will start the turntable turning and you can then put the arm onto the record yourself. Once the arm is on the record and it's playing carefully lower the stacker arm down so that it knows to switch off automatically at the end of the record. If you leave it playing with the stacker bar in the upright position like that, that will trigger the repeat function which is for 7 inch records only and the same record will play over again until manually switched off. So I hope that covers everything but of course if you do have any questions when you receive it please send me a message on email.